stop the virtual camera. Okay, there. Hi! Hello! It's me! Master21! So, hello everyone! It's Sunday! And you know what that means. Let's go! It's another upload today. Mm -mm -mm -mm. My arms hurt. And my room is clean. Saturday, I cleaned all day. Legit, I mean, that's all my family did, was we just cleaned all day. Mostly because, um, we had a nor'easter, um, and if you don't know what that means, because you don't live in Maine, let me break it down for you. So in Maine, we have something called snow, and when we have a storm, which includes storm, which includes snow, we call it a nor'easter because you could get high winds and about 18 inches of snow. Well, we didn't get 18 inches of snow. We did get a lot of snow with the high-powered wind. So, yeah, well, luckily we did not lose power, so that is awesome. Um, I didn't expect us to. We have We've only lost power once in this house, um, in seven, I think, almost eight years now. Um, we only lost power once, and it was for one second. I'm not kidding. So, yeah, my room is clean. I want to keep it like this, but the last time I said that, I didn't keep it like this. But I'm going to try my hardest to keep it like this because if my room isn't clean I'm going to hate myself so um anywho um we or myself I'm going to be talking about a movie that I just saw this is not a new movie but it is a movie that I well at least the first one I watched and I quite liked <sighs> this movie is called Escape Room, Tournament of Champions. Now, if you haven't seen the first Escape Room or Escape Room, Tournament of Champions, I suggest watching both of them and then coming back to this video. Now, Tournament of Champions, well, okay, I should probably explain the plot of both, kind of, but... I'm not going to, because I don't care. Go watch the movies. Eh, they're good. Um, uh, Tournament of Champions was kind of lackluster, but um, I will explain it to you. So, Escape Room, Tournament of Champions. Now, go watch the first one, then watch the second one, and then come and watch this video, because you will have no idea what I'm talking about. Or I can just explain the plot. I don't know, I don't want to. Okay, anywho, I'll explain the plot, whatever. So in the first one, Escape Room, um, the, about like six or so people get put into this escape room by, made by this company called Minos. And they get put in, but it's like, all the escape rooms are like, filled with death. So it's like a life or death type thing. Um, it's, it's really good. The first one is awesome. I love the first one. I watch it all the time. I love the first one. And it will, it will probably be one of those movies that I just watch from now and then. Kind of like Unfriended, if you haven't seen that, that's really good. Also, Unfriended Dark Web, that's still really good. I mean, th those are good movies. Anywho, the second one, Tournament of Champions, was a little bad. I mean, like, you could definitely tell that, like, they were just doing it for, like, a cash grab. Um... I don't know. Like, they 
brought back one of the characters that you think died, but didn't really die. Um, they ended it on a cliffhanger. Um, that's right, a cliffhanger, which you have to hate. But my thing is, is that either one or two things. It wasn't a cliffhanger. And they just leave it on how they leave it. Or it was. And they're going to make another movie. Which I would not like. So how it works is that. So how they get put into this movie. It's pretty self-explanatory. So about seven or so people get put in to the subway and get into the subway and they are all champions of of fucking um The escape rooms. I couldn't think of what it was called. So they're all... They're all champions from the previous escape rooms. So... That is... What that is. So... How they do it, it's kind of stupid. They start in a subway that's going to electrocute them, and um, it spells welcome back. Of course it does. Uh, they have to pull things. The cart is electrocuted. One of them dies. The first trap. The first one. Um, they get to the second room, which is a bank, which is laser-trapped, which... Um, I thought how they did it was kind of stupid, because um, if you watch it, there are... So, if you've ever been in a bank, it's kind of set up weird. So, safe, stairs to the safe, a bunch of, like, checkered floors, right, black and white, and then two bank counters... Right? And behind these bank counters are deposit boxes. While they're trying to solve the puzzle, when I was watching it, I'm like, you don't have to solve the puzzle. The people who make the escape rooms is called Minos. Now, they clearly didn't think about this. Because what you could do, it wasn't a far jump either, and that's why I was like, you could just jump. Um... The counter went all the way to the wall, right? And then you could walk to this little corner with a lampshade, with, like, a little lamp. You could step on that and then make a jump onto the stairs and escape without triggering the lasers. And I was so mad because, like, they didn't think about it statistically either, because they were, like, stepping on the counter the entire time, and it was like, why not just walk on the counter, do a jump, and make it on the stairs? It was so dumb. Like, you didn't even have to activate the trap. You really didn't. It was so dumb. It's like, they clearly did not think about it. Is like, if you were even a little bit smart, you could figure out that you can make that jump. When you watch the movie, uh, Tournament of Champions, you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, it's like a counter, then a wall, then the stairs that lead up to the safe, and then there's like a little lampshade, and then it's like a cut a corner. You All you have to do is jump, and you'll make it. It's not that far. Any person with parkour skills could make it, um, 
you could make the jump. Even if you didn't, you could just, like, step around the corner, you know, and, like, do that again. It was really stupid. Um, so that was, that made me mad. Um, then it led to this beach. Um, like, they escaped the bank in the most stupidest way with, what, no one died from the bank. That is a plus. No one died from the bank. But they couldn't, they couldn't have had any risk and just walked on the damn counter. It really pissed me off while I was watching it. I'm like, just walk on the fucking counter! Because then they trigger a pressure plate, right? And then they step on it, and that, on the counter, there was a pressure plate on the counter that Minos activated, and then that would trigger the lasers. But it wasn't there before. Therefore, they could have walked on the damn counter and made the jump into the safe without triggering the laser grid. It was so dumb. It really just was like, how stupid could you be to not think of that? Um, anywho, they get to this beach and the sand is sinking, but they don't notice it yet. Um, they're figuring out the clues, blah, blah, blah. Um, there was a lighthouse. There was two ways you could get out. A lighthouse in a fridge. Well, one of the... So, previously, two people escaped from the first movie. Right? Zoe and Ben. Well, Ben dies. Um, I say that in air quotes because he really doesn't die. Um, and I said during the movie... I was like, he falls into, like, the quicksand. The room's falling apart and shit. Um, plus, both these exits lead to the same place, and of course they do. Um, <laughs> they would. So, they led to the same place, blah, blah, blah. And I said during the movie, when Ben landed in the quicksand, I'm like, he's not dead. I don't believe that he's dead. So they exited out, and then it seems like they escaped, but of course they don't. Um, then there's three people left. Zoe and the two other people that I don't remember. Um, one of the people doesn't feel pain, which is very rare. Um, if you are one of those many people, how, um, imagine suicide. I'm sorry, but, like, if you can't feel pain, that's gotta be kind of awesome. But, like, I don't know, I couldn't imagine... Anywho, um, so they're like in this New York setting and there's acid rain and like only one of them makes it into this taxi and like they, and like these two people, the person who can't feel pain and this other bitch get dead by the acid rain. It's kind of sad. And then, she, the Zoe, Zoe gets dropped into this room, right? And then, this is where, about, where they introduce the previous person, Amanda, right? Who was a veteran. And... Who we thought died in the last movie. But they kidnapped her daughter. And she had to help them, Minos, design 
the rooms, and she gave heavy clues to be like, hey, SOS, Sarah, the name of her daughter, heavy clues that she said in the previous movie, but it's really not, it's really not like, my mom, we were watching it together, and my mom was like, who is Sarah? I'm like, I don't know, that's interesting. Um, then, they, like, so then, Ben shows up, right, but it's in this glass box that's filling up with water, and then this little train comes by with a box that says Zoe on it, and Amanda's like, they want you to join, because... Minos will find something that you love and then take it. And if you don't do what they say, they will hurt, do, or whatever it takes for you to do their game. Get it? Good. Now, Zoe doesn't do it. Um... Amanda and Zoe pull off this gas pipe and then blast the glass where Ben is. And then, like, I won't do it. And then they escape. Amanda, Zoe, and Ben escape. Right? Uh, they're at the police station. They're like, Amanda's giving them the scoops. Right? Um, and then they think it's over. They're on a plane. And, of course, it's a trap, and that's where the movie ends. And I didn't like how that ended. The movie could have been better. Eh, it was eh. If you watch the first movie, you're gonna like it. Um, the first, the first one was good. It was awesome. I love the first one. I watch it all the time. But then the second movie was just like, eh. it wasn't as good. Um, what was I think what was great about the first movie is like you didn't know what was coming. You know, it was just, like, surprise after surprise after surprise, and it would throw new things at you. And it was, like, plot, and it was lore, and it was so good. I loved the first one. And then the second one was, like, oh. And then they bring back Amanda. They could have left her dead. I mean, like, it was a good plot twist, I guess, on where, like, Okay, sure, Amanda comes back because she didn't die. Okay. But who would think of that? Why bring Amanda back? Why bring Amanda back? I think it would have been a better plot twist if Ben came back. And Ben was secretly the creator of the game. I think that would have been so much better than having Amanda as the person who designed the games and bringing Amanda back. I think it should have been Ben. I thought, I think that would have been so much better. That would have been so cool. Or... Or, 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 the guy who, like, went through all the escape rooms from the first movie. But I feel like that would be a little too obvious. Like, oh, of course the guy who designed all these, who did all the escape rooms is the creator of all the escape rooms. I think it would have been way better if Ben was the creator. And, like, that secret twist was, like... Ben designed all of it. It was all Ben. And it w that would have been so much better. But they don't go with it. 
And I'm like, no, I don't know. It would have been so much better if the plot twist, it was Ben all along. And it was like, it would have been so much better if it was Ben. Um, but no, they bring back Amanda, and it was Amanda who designed all the trap rooms, but she isn't the creator of... She's just a rec creator of that one room. That one. But, I don't know. It could have been better, could have been worse, it wasn't great. First one, so much better, as per usual. So, yeah. There you go. Um, so, I think that's pretty much it. Um, go watch the movies. They're pretty good. Uh, again, the second one could have been better. I watched it for free. Okay, so, anywho, thank you everybody so much for watching. Don't forget to check out my Twitter. Link's in the description. Check out my Twitch. I'm streaming every Monday. Okay, I'm streaming Super Mario Odyssey. I'm trying to speedrun and become good. <laughs> And not end my streams early, because I am bad. <laughs> so there's that going on. Um, links into the description. Go check me out on Twitch. Uh, Twitter. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, thank you, everybody, for getting me to 54 subscribers. We are getting close to 60. That would be awesome. Um, and... Yeah, I think that's it. And again, thank you everybody so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next week.